Hey folks, Tantini out here. This is going to be a tutorial on how to program your Quadrino board uh, with Wii Technology. Um, we're going to set it up uh, through the computer and whatnot. Alright, and if you have a Galway 330, you can pretty much use the settings that I have on this uh, on my Quadrino board uh, settings and I will show you that first let's turn the transmitter on alright first turn the transmitter on then we'll plug the USB in you don't have to have a battery to power the Quadrino board up the USB will power it up. Also, you don't have to worry about uh, the speed controls being powered up. The Quadrino board has a switch in it to keep from powering up the board, keep from powering up the speed controls. All right. So what we had to do is turn the radio on first, then plug up the Quadrino board to the computer, and here. We'll go to uh, our Moti Wii 1.9 configuration and click on it. I was doing a video in a, um, uh, right here. You hit run. I was doing a video in a later video on where you can get this driver from to use on. Um, uh, Windows 7 if your Windows 7 don't pull up it right fast. So we're gonna go through this hit run and we'll Wait for it. computer a little slow So you see here that the board is pin lit it up finding the uh, Quadrino board um, Okay, right here. We have the Quadrino uh, uh, software set up. So first of all, we're gonna go to COM port 20 and click on it. Mine will be COM 20. Yours might be 18 or 15 or whatnot. So, all right. What we got here? Then we go down to start. All right. You're gonna start. You start see some readings and stuff. You see the reading stuff, what it is actually reading, um, what's on the board as far as uh, y'all pitch and roll. It's basically like flat ball system. Alright, and I uh, see here that the two lights here, right here, are so on, saying so on. That is reading transmitter and reading the receiver. Alright, first things first is uh, to, you have to set your end points on your transmitter so it got to be at least a thousand two thousand uh, to the highest point two thousand to the highest point and a thousand to the lowest point that's on throttle pitch roll y'all <coughs> excuse me Throttle pitch, uh, roll, and yaw. The pitch is elevator, the roll is aileron, and the yaw is rudder. Alright, to get a thousand end point one way and two thousand another way, you had to go into your transmitter and go to your transmitter and go to your travel adjustments. And you raise them values until you get a uh, thousand uh, for one way and two thousand the other way. So, like if I give it, uh, if I give it, like I'm at 99.9 for throttle, that's close to a thousand. As long as you get right at a thousand, it's fine. <laughs> Then 2000 at the top, so I had to set my travel adjustments for mine at 
uh, turn the light on it. I had set my travel adjustments uh, 127 high for throttle, 127 low for throttle, 126 low uh, left for aileron, 126, 126 right for aileron, elevator 124 for down elevator and up elevator 127 and rudder for 126 and 123 for right rudder all right also in this same setup you can pretty much set your reversal on it so i'm gonna give you a quick one all right let's go to our reversal And our reverse switch on JR and Spectrums, it'll be throttle, normal, aileron, reverse, elevator, normal, rudder, reverse. Alright. And so for the other radios, if you want to change, uh, if you, to set your reversal, so say like I have, if you give it a right aileron, it should go to the right. If you give a left and a right, it should go to the left. If it's not doing that, basically just set it up. Uh, just change it up in your reversal of your uh, transmitter. All right. Once we got all that said and done and set up, all right, you want to go and press read. Once you press read, you'll see the PID parameters. All right, for the quadrennial, it's pretty much set up when you get it for the 450 quads. Uh, so once you get it for the setup, it's pretty much set up for the 450 quads. So it's just basically going in and tuning it the way you like it for your flight preferences. But for the Galway 330, uh, these settings seem to work fine for me. And P... For road, you want 2.0, and I, you want 0 .031, and in D, you want 15. And pitch, for the P, you want 2.0. For I, you want 0 .030, and 15 for the D. And y'all, it pretty much stays at 8.1 and 0 .000 across the board. Uh, the alternate is be 47, uh, 000 across the board. Value zero zero across the board. Level eight point two and zero point four five across the board, and the mag will be four point zero. Your rate for uh, next to y'all will be point fifty. All right, and for flipping, mines I have mine set at zero point ninety six, and my expo factory it comes like zero point six five. So I turn the expo up in the system. To 0 0.81 all right you see right here you have uh, a compass and it basically tells which way the the quad is pointing so it has a built-in compass in it so it's pretty much uh, for like the, the hold the gyro hold in it um, as you notice if I pick it up and roll it the roll sign moves uh, either way and then pitch pitch moves also all right to do uh, to set your leveler up you light up the board like if I take it and I unlight it you light up the board and um, if you want that to be set as a low mid or high so you set it wherever you want to set it so I set my leveler at low and if you look right here, when I hit the switch, it activates the mag, which is here, right here for my mid and low. I have the mag and leveler set in there. So you just basically set it to your assigned setup and everything. All right. Uh, some people say calibrate calibrated but I talked with a guy who actually built this uh, 
made this boy. He said you don't have to calibrate it because it's pre-calibrated from, uh, from how he set it up. Um, in a later video, I will show you how to set the auto trim, uh, the auto leveler. So if it's, if it's going forward or backwards um, or side to side, it is, I'll show you how to trim that out in the next video. Um, but pretty much, um, that's about basically about it, how to set it up. You uh, can go in, like, let me show you right here, like change the parameters, click on it, hold it down, and just move the mouse back and forth to wherever you want it to uh, go at pretty much. Um, so, like, I had it at 2.0. And that's why I wanted it, but you know, I can sit there and hit read, and it's pretty much where it, where it is. All right. Once you got everything set up and everything, you go over here and you hit write, and click on write. And what it do? It writes it to the board. It writes it to the board and everything, and it's pretty much set up in the board. Um. So, uh, like I said, it's a pretty good uh deal. I really like it. Um, so, this, like I said, this is a tutorial on how to set up the parameter, set up uh, the radio to the uh, quadrino board and set up your quadrino board. All right, uh, let me show you something. Like every time you move it here, you see that it change it. The graph picks up everything that it moves. It's a pretty good setup. Alright, so all right, this is a tutorial on how to set up your Quadrino to your radio and set settings up in the Quadrino. As I always say, God is good all the time. TNT out.